Okay, so now we've covered how some of the major artists of the last 150 years or so use color in their work, and we've covered the basic color wheel, which you already knew, but just to, it's good to practice. Red, yellow, and blue mixed together make orange, green, and purple. So as an artist, how do you use those colors in your work to influence your viewer? So I asked a friend, Paul Schulenberg, to talk to you about how he uses warm and cool colors in his paintings. Hi, I'm Paul Schulenberg. I'm an artist. I live in East Ham, Massachusetts on Cape Cod. And um, I'm a full-time painter. I work in oils. I show my work at Addison Art Gallery. So I've been asked to talk about cool and warm colors, um, which is a fun topic. I, I uh, pulled out this recent painting of a fisherman. I do a lot of paintings of fishermen on Cape Cod. Um, now this, this might be a good example of uh, we have warm sunlight um, hitting this figure and the cool shadows. So rather than just going to, um, to a gray, um, uh, it's blues and purples. It's a, you know darker colors, but there's um, a lot of color in the shadows, and they are um, cool colors. And uh, there's a nice warm sunlight hitting the, the figure here. Um, it just picks up these oranges and yellows and, and reds. Um, so um, in this case, we have you know warm sunlight and cool shadows. I decided to pull up this landscape, recent landscape I did of First Encounter Beach in East Ham, um, to show. Uh, that we have a sunset situation over here. Those sunsets give you a very warm light that is reflected in the grasses here. So, so they're really the, the bright hot spots are in these grasses as the, there's warm light is reflected on there. Whereas um, the sky is cooler. The sky is cooler on this side and basically gets warmer towards the sunset, of course. Um, so there's an example of a warm and cool colors well, that's a very short talk about warm and cool colors. I hope that uh, clears a few things up. Um, thank you for inviting me to participate. Thank you, Jane Baker, and to all your students out there. Uh, get lots of work done. Um, it's a good time to try new things and uh, experiment and play with your artwork. So um, happy painting. To practice this concept of warm and cool colors, I would like you to take the three crayons or colored pencils that you used for the color wheel that you just completed, um, red, yellow, and blue, those are your three primaries, and you're going to do a simple still life of an object using only complementary colors. So complementary colors are opposite on the color wheel and they consist of the two colors that make up the secondary colors. And so red is opposite of green, orange is opposite from blue, and yellow is opposite from purple. So pick an object and using only red, yellow, and blue, you're going to show the highlights and the shadows of that object. Please don't use any other colors from the pencils or the crayons pack. I really need to see that you only used those three colors. Here's a quick demo of the project. You take a light pencil and outline your object, and then you take the hot color and start to indicate the bright aspects of the object. You want to leave white for the very brightest part where there's glare, but with the yellow crayon, I'm hatching and cross-hatching over the brighter parts of the pepper. Really layering the colors over and over again, going heavy on the areas that are darker. For the stem, it's green, but I only have red, yellow, and blue, so I'm using yellow to start the stem, again indicating where the highlights are. Now I take my blue crayon and I'm going over the yellow to turn the stem into green. I'm really laying heavily on the parts that I think are darker, and I'm scumbling Great word, scumbling. I'm scumbling over the color, one direction and then the other, trying to give the impression of the green stem. If I go back over it with yellow, it becomes even more green. And there you have it. Now I'm taking the blue and I'm adding it over the yellow on the sides, 
where I find shadow. So this is the first step because, as you know, yellow is opposite with purple. But for now, I'm just laying on the blue because I only have red, yellow, and blue. So adding more shadow. Now I've got my cast shadow, which was there before the sun went behind the clouds. So fill in the cast shadow. I'm going horizontally against the object because it helps to ground the object on the surface. Now I've got my red crayon and I'm turning that blue into purple. I really want a purple shadow as opposed to just a blue shadow because having the opposite color complement really helps the colors to pop. Now I'm turning the shadow purple. Adding more blue over it. This is just a simple demo. There you have it.